Hi guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Grace and today's video is going to be another makeup look and yes, this is the look that I'm wearing right now. If you want to see how I do it, then please keep on watching. And also this video, I'm going to do a review or first impression of this foundation. This is the Ordinary um, Full Coverage or High Coverage Foundation. And this is in a shade 2.1 wide. So if you want to know what is my thought about that product, then yes, please keep on watching. Okay, first things first, I'm going to prime my face and I'm going to use this, the Ordinary um, High Adherence Silicone Primer. So I'm going to apply it on the center of my face. This is what the primer looks like. And yeah, I think, oh, I, think I squeezed too much. Uh, so I think I'm going to apply it all over my face instead because I might as well use it all. This feels like a little bit tacky on your face. It just feels like a moisturizer. Alright, for foundation, I'm going to use this, the Ordinary um, High Coverage Foundation. So this is what it looks like. And I pick up the shade 2.1Y because I'm Asian so yes I have a strong yellow undertone so I'm going to squeeze two pump oh this foundation is actually quite watery oh look at that hmm. um, so I think I'm going to use brush because it's quite watery mm, yeah I'm going to use brush so first I'm going to apply it on my face this foundation has a really strong yellow undertone. This is actually a first impression of this foundation and oh guys. So I'm going to use sponge as well to um get rid of all the uh, excess foundation on my face i don't know if it's just me but this foundation it doesn't look good around my nose it looks really patchy guys this is actually a first impression of this primer and this foundation and i don't know if i'm gonna like them i might use this primer again using a different foundation and this one as well i'm going to use a different primer with this and see what it's like but first impression I don't like it uh, it looks really patchy around my nose I don't know if you can see it it looks really patchy around here I'm really sad about this foundation I'm really disappointed anyway I'm going to apply concealer now so I'm going to use this concealer this is the um, Maybelline anti-age um, eraser concealer I'm going to apply it under my eyes and I'm going to highlight the center of my face using this concealer as well oh, by the way this is in a shade nude so I'm going to blend it using my LA girl sponge this sponge is actually really nice this is the first I'm using this sponge as well and I like it Like I always do, I'm going to blend the concealer as well on my eyelids because I don't use eye primer or eyeshadow primer. I don't know if it's because of the texture of my face, but the foundation doesn't look good to me. I don't like it at the moment. <laughs> I'm not happy with it. But I'm going to give it a chance and I'm going to use a different primer because it might be the primer. Next, I'm going to set the concealer and then I'm going to use this Rebecca Revolution um, Luxury Powder. It's a banana powder and this is the first time I'm going to use this as well. So it's not even open yet as you can see. But this is what the powder looks like. And I think I'm just gonna go, gonna put it on my hands. Oh my god. Oh, look at that. That's the powder looks like. And I'm going to use my sponge and set my concealer using... I think this is a dupe for 
um, the Ben Nye banana powder. Am I right? Because they look pretty much the same. But I never had one of those Ben Nye banana powder. So I put too much in my hand. I put too much in my hands. And it's everywhere. Mm. For the rest of my face, I'm going to use this NYX No Filter Finishing Powder in a shade Honey Beige. Okay, so I'm going to do my eyebrows now. And I'm going to do it off camera like I always do and I'll be back. There you go guys, I'm done with my eyebrows and I use this um, Anastasia Deep Brow Pomade in a shade Dark Brown. Next, I'm going to do my eyes. And the palette that I'm going to use today is this one right here. This is the Makeup Revolution Ultra Eye Contour Light and Shade. I think this is a dupe for Kat Von D. It comes with a brush as well. So yeah, quite handy. So first I'm going to take this shade right here and I'm going to warm up my warm I'm going to warm up my crease. This palette is quite nice actually. Um, yeah, it's quite pigmented and I think it's only four pounds or six pounds. Really cheap for the quality of the product. Next, I'm going to take this shade right here and I'm going to apply it on my outer V. And I'm going to use the brush that comes with it. Okay, so next I'm going to grab my brush that I use for my crease or to warm up my crease and I'm going to just blend it a little bit so there is no harsh line. This is really an easy eye look. There we go. Then same shade that I use for my outer V, I'm going to put it on my lower lash line. There we go. So next, I'm taking the light shades, like um, I'm taking this shade, this big one here, and I'm going to apply it on my crease. So you can see, guys, it's a really easy makeup or really easy eye makeup. Only use three shades. This um, this eyeshadow palette is very handy. You know when you travel, except there is no mirror. But this has all the neutral colors, so it's very easy to use and to mix all the colors or to create a nice eye makeup look. You can use it on daytime and nighttime, so it's very handy. All right, so next I'm taking this shade right here and I'm going to highlight my brow bone. So guys, the next I'm taking this LA Girl Gel Liner and this is in a shade black. And I'm going to create a small wing. I actually like the texture of this gel liner. It's not very wet but it's not very dry as well. I'm happy with that. I think this brush really helped me doing my wing liner because since I bought this brush, it's slightly getting better. <laughs> As you may know, I'm not really good at doing my wing, but it's getting better, definitely. So next I'm going to tight line and I'm going to use a black eyeliner. Any black eyeliner will do, but this one is the Zoeva um, Soft Coal eye pencil and this is in a shade black and I'm going to apply it on my lower lash line as well next I'm going to apply mascara and I'm going to use this last Maybelline lash sensational mascara
Alright, so next I'm going to apply my false lashes now and I'll be back. Next, I'm going to contour my face and I'm going to use this Makeup Revolution Pro HD Powder Contour. So this is what it looks like. So when I open it up, there you go. This is what the contour looks like and I'm going to use this shade here to contour my face. By the way, this is in a shade light medium. Update guys, the foundation, I'm still not liking it. Doesn't look nice on my face. There we go, that's my nose contoured. Next, I'm going to apply blush. I'm going to use this Freedom um, Pro Blush palette. This is what the blush looks like. Actually, this palette is a bit too small, so I think I'm going to take this two shade, this two shade right here. It looks nice. This is the shade that I like for the blush. Next, I'm going to highlight my face and I'm going to use this Makeup Revolution Skin Kiss Highlights and this is the shade Rose Gold Kiss. So this is what it looks like. Let me open it up. So this is the shade looks like. nice I'm going to apply these highlights on my teardrops as well there we go. finally let's move on to my lips and I'm going to use this LA girl matte flat finish pigment gloss so this is what it looks like and this is in a shade frisky oh I hardly use it it's clean. Look at that. I hardly use this. This is like classic red. And I think this is gonna go down to a matte flat finish. Anyway, I'm going to finalize my face now and my hair and I'll be back. guys we are done with our looks i hope you liked this video and if you did please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also all the products that i use will be in the description box below and please let me know if you have any questions or requests video just comment down below and i will see you in my next video